80 years ago, the world was in the middle of the biggest war in human history, World War II. The Russian ring closes around the 6th German army at Stalingrad. Like many other countries, the Philippines also saw some intense fighting between two sides led by the Japanese and the USA. And one of these many battles was in Caron Bay, where 50 fighter planes from the US came in and sunk a Japanese Navy fleet of 12 ships. Today we're gonna go into Karon Bay and underneath the ocean to go inside these Japanese shipwrecks and explore these better. So right now I'm in Karon, an island in like the Palawan province of the Philippines. I've been here for like three days, I haven't really done much except for like chill at my hostel, enjoy the view, party. Now we're going for a sunset hike up this mountain called Mount Tapias. We were supposed to see like a really nice view of the whole area. It's not really a hike, it's just like stairs going all the way up. Okay, that was a quick hike. It was 700 steps because the steps were marked. It took us like 10-15 minutes. I'm sure you can just run up all the way if you're in really good shape. So we're just gonna enjoy the view for like an hour because uh, the sun's still like not close to setting. So I think we're gonna stay here till sunset. Toby here is literally trying to get to the top of the cross. Don't do this ever. This is not our idea, but he did it. And I'm gonna try to get some sick drone shots. I couldn't imagine. Imagine me and fucking fighting in World War II and come to this humidity. Come on. first ever fun dive. We have to come back for me because I was running out of oxygen. Bro. Really nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. The weather here is like really weird right now. So it's like raining and at the same time it's also like sunny every once in a while. We're going to another shipwreck from the same uh, battle, another Japanese ship. This one's a lot more shallow. It's like four to 20 meters. The last one we went up to like 22 meters. So this one should be a smaller ship. I thought this one was more fun because we saw a lot more things. We saw like crocodile fish, which I didn't even know was a thing, but it looks like crocodile, but it's fish. We saw um, lionfish, which was really, really cool. And those things are apparently dangerous, so we kept our distance. And we went through the hull 
of the ship, of the wrecked ship. That part was really cool. We're going to this lake called Barracuda Lake, which is a mixture of salt and seawater. And because of that, there's like different temperatures in the water and different currents all through other place. It's got really warm water, so we're doing this without a swimsuit and just in our, no, sorry, without the wetsuit and just in our swimsuits. So before we head on to the last stop, which is finally the Barracuda Lake, we're having like a little bit of a meal on board with fish and chicken and a bunch of stuff I didn't eat. I just ate the pancit, uh, which is like noodles thing and the rice and uh, potatoes. So I was gonna use the bathroom on board and um, the bathroom ended up looking like this. I couldn't do a lot, but uh, I think I can wait till this dive is done. Last stop, see the jagged cliffs next to the ocean. Going in soon. came up and that was insane like I thought it was gonna be hot but it's like basically like a thermal spring down there so it was like boiling hot like 40 degrees Celsius what is that like 90 degrees Fahrenheit it's like just hot tub water hot so at first it was like cool until 15 meters then like really hot until 25 meters and then it was like bearable again so we made it back up colder Okay guys, yesterday I didn't film much after I came back because I was just so tired, uh, so exhausted after those three dives because um, I'm not really good at diving yet. I just got certified in Sikihor, another island in the Philippines, like a week ago. So like those were some intense dives. There were like wreck dives and there's another one in the lake that I went really deep and I was just done after the day. So I'm just filming the outro right now. This is actually my last stop in the Philippines and I'm leaving after three months and going to Milan so it's kind of bittersweet like I'm excited about going back to Milan which is uh, or going back to Italy sorry which is the first country where I filmed a video a travel vlog with a professional camera back five years ago for those of you who've been around probably not a lot of you but at the same time I'm pretty sad about leaving the Philippines it's been one of my favorite places so far and it's entirely because of the people. I'll say it over and over again. I'm, I'm definitely gonna come back. I didn't see El Nido. I didn't do the expedition from El Nido to Coron. I didn't go to Boracay. I didn't go to Malapascua to like dive with treasure sharks. So, and I want to go back to Shurigao. So I think I'll definitely be coming back. I'll even see Mindanao. Like there's so many places I didn't see. So I'll definitely be coming back, but not this year, maybe next year, maybe in one and a half years. But that is all for this video. If you liked it, do like it. If you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. If you want to catch real-time travel updates from me, feel free to follow me on Instagram, at Nadir on the go. I'll catch you guys in the next video from Italy.